So sometimes you just gotta get frustrated. Ah! Ah, ha, ha, ha. House didn't fall down. What is up guys, this is Zach with Use What You Got. Here's a quick look at what the hallway looked like before I started ripping out all the trim and taking out the wall. Hopefully this is something you remember, but I will show it probably at the end of this project in another few videos. But I started off by taking off both the quarter round and the trim. I have found that I really like using this really big flathead. It's not the best crowbar, but I've been doing this for probably 10 years now and it's always worked for me. I love it. It's, it gets the job done. So it was a little bit of a pain to take these off. They, they did a good job of nailing and gluing them together, but always happy to be done with that part of the job. <clears throat> <sighs> okay, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time, thanks for stopping by. Um, I have kind of a balance I have to do right now in regards to this room because even though I need a frame in that wall, and I need to cut this one out. My daughter still has to come in here and get clothes and we use this for a few other things. So I think I'm gonna start framing this wall in. I gotta finish taking all the trim out, which I'm almost done. And then today we're gonna cut this wall out and then we're gonna frame in for the door, which I'm gonna show you guys really soon. But let's get the rest of the trim off this really quick. All right, so I'm looking at the new door and it's right here. Just use the mess out here, but um, this door should be the exact same size as our old door. And here's the reason. So we just bought this door and it's a pre-hung door. And there's a reason for that. Really all we need is the frame of it. We don't necessarily need the door itself. The door is fine, but we want to use the old door because it's a much nicer door. But here's the reason why we bought this one. See that big old hole? 50% off. So, got a pretty good deal on it. To prepare for this, putting in the studs, I'm gonna do 82 and a half high and then 32 wide. It should give me roughly like half an inch or so of play to put in shims and get it nice and plumb. So, I'm a little nervous about cutting out the two by fours because I don't think it's a low bearing wall, but at the same time, we are upstairs, above it is the attic and I don't know, just kind of makes me nervous cutting out framing for the structural part of the house, so. I will say one of the best tools I've invested in is this multi-tool. If you don't have one, I would highly suggest buying one. They're great for jobs like this. It's exactly what I wanted to happen. The house didn't fall down. Oh, all right, we're good. So I started off by grabbing whatever I could to use as a shim. I also chose two and a half inch framing screws to put this together. Not sure if you can tell, but I was extremely frustrated and I found out later that the real issue here was just that I didn't have enough weight on the screw. So sometimes you just gotta get frustrated. I ended up getting some four inch screws that I had in the garage and I'm pre-drilling my holes, which is very frustrating. So I don't wanna do that. Got my two by four header and this is gonna go right there. Gonna notch out this little piece right here. Should be good to go. Got a hole. I have a feeling it is not tall enough. Wait, wait for it. Oh my goodness. Look, I very rarely get stuff on the first try, but Ooh, I'm happy with that. All right, let's get this in here. Yeah! Okay, let's see if we can do this. 
this. Take a moment. You smell that? Success. All right. Shoot some screws in. Kudos to all you who do this for a living. This, this is not fun. I am exhausted. So at this point, I've been at this for like. Focus. At this point, I've been at this for. I don't know, three hours or something. And <laughs> uh, I have the wall frame. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna cut this piece off the floor and then we're gonna knock this wall out. Honestly, this part is what I've been looking forward to this entire project and I think is gonna be the most fun. So what I'm doing here is I'm putting a screw into the floor because I can't get underneath it. I'm using the screw as leverage to use the hammer to pull it up. And literally, the only thing that's holding this floor down is one nail. Right. That one's loose. It's crazy. But somehow, that nail held on, as you can see here. Better than these screws. <laughs> Pain in the butt. So close! Yes! Come on! Literally one nail, like what in the world? Here's my favorite part of the whole demo. Three, two, one! All right, I'm not gonna do it like this anymore. Yeah, we have a window. What? I'm so psyched about this. Uh, I gotta clean up.